business book summaries. Have you ever wondered why some companies don't make it while others thrive and succeed? Entrepreneurs face a lot of challenges in their businesses, and many of them think there's some secret sauce for solving these problems. They believe there must be a magical formula for achieving big business success. In this summary, you'll discover that by changing the way you think and approach problems, you can improve your chances and get the results you want. We'll explore the key lessons from the authors. So if you're curious, keep watching to find out more. About the book Street Smarts, this book, Street Smarts, was first published in 2008 by Norm Brodsky and Bo Burlingham. It spans 364 pages and is divided into 17 chapters, each offering four valuable lessons. In this book, you'll find real-life stories shared by the authors about entrepreneurs facing seemingly insurmountable problems. But through the right analysis and attitude, these challenges were overcome, leading to positive outcomes for their companies. About the authors, Norm Brodsky and Bo Burlingham, Norm Brodsky is a highly successful North American entrepreneur who has founded eight companies. He's not only an entrepreneur, but also a writer and columnist for Ince Magazine in partnership with Bo Burlingham. One of his notable companies, Cita Storage, which is frequently mentioned in the book, was sold in 2007 for a staggering $110 million. Currently, he resides in New York. Bo Burlingham is an editor at Inks Magazine and also a columnist. He's authored five books and splits his time between Oakland in the United States and Sancerre in France. Who should read this book? This book is for entrepreneurs, managers, salespeople, and anyone eager to start their own business. It's valuable for both experienced professionals and those just beginning their entrepreneurial journey. Key takeaways from Street Smarts. One, success doesn't come from a one size fits all recipe. Two, you can learn from your own experiences and from what others have been through. Three, no matter how much experience you have, there's always something new to discover. Four, your mindset plays a huge role in your success and how you live your life affects your business. Five, planning and preparation are essential for success. Six, while advice can be helpful, use caution when taking it. Seven, a fresh perspective can make a big difference. Eight, acting wisely and staying calm are critical. Before we delve further, Remember that we regularly share new content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel business book summaries and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. Achieving success in business. Norm Brodsky and Bo Burlingham stress the importance of discovering your true motivation or goal in business. It's crucial to set clear, concrete objectives. To do this, First, assess your financial situation and ensure you have enough money to kickstart your business and sustain it for a while. Keep a close eye on the numbers. They reveal your business's viability. Ideally, your business should be self-sustaining and not rely heavily on external sources of capital. Managing cash flow is paramount. Before devising your strategy, Consider your financial capabilities, aiming to maximize your profits by understanding the difference between sales and gross profit. Cultivating the right mindset. To adopt the right mindset, embrace the key concept of resilience. Challenges are inevitable, but your ability to navigate them is vital. Maintain a strong connection with your customers to promptly address issues. Learn from your own mistakes and take responsibility rather than placing blame elsewhere. Each failure offers valuable lessons to prevent future repeats. Pursue knowledge vigorously and stay focused on achieving the best results. 
as a good opportunity often surpasses several advantageous ones. Understand that the ideal solution may not emerge immediately. It often improves over time. Maintain your motivation, as it's the driving force that helps you overcome challenges and believe in the ultimate outcome. Common pitfalls leading to startup failure. Introducing something new can be costly and time-consuming, but innovative ideas can yield significant advantages. Starting a business from scratch is often more successful for entrepreneurs than buying an existing one, as it allows you to learn the essential aspects of the business from the ground up. Studying the competition is valuable, helping you identify which products or services are already established in the market. Your initial business plan need not be overly complex. Keep it simple, ensuring that all critical business information is clear. Continuously review and adapt your strategies, remaining flexible. Securing funding. The authors emphasize that if you're seeking financial support, your proposal must be attractive to potential investors. Cultivate positive relationships with banks, as they often prove to be better options than factoring companies. Maintaining a good credit history makes obtaining loans easier. However, be cautious, as certain common mistakes can damage your relationship with the bank. Regular communication with your bank manager, awareness of rules and deadlines, and refraining from arguments when you're in the wrong are essential. Never use money that isn't genuinely available to you. Overview the power of key numbers. Certain numbers can act as real-time indicators, allowing you to identify issues and find solutions without waiting for monthly reports. Norm Brodsky and Bo Burlingham suggest meticulous manual tracking of monthly sales, categorizing them to evaluate every aspect of your business. This approach enhances your grasp of the cash flow, intricacies, and lets you foresee how much capital will be required to avoid future shortfalls. It's crucial to understand the true value of your business, as many entrepreneurs tend to either overestimate or underestimate it. Overview Mastering the Art of Negotiation Negotiation is an art, and mastering it is essential. Flexibility and active listening are key elements. Analyze proposals carefully to avoid missing out on valuable opportunities. Remember that effective negotiation is not just about speaking, but also about listening. Every negotiation and client requires a unique strategy. Rely on your experience and instincts to think creatively and see beyond the obvious. Look for hidden advantages and disadvantages by observing what's unsaid and analyzing facial expressions. The secret lies in the details. It all begins with a sale. Starting a business often means entering uncharted territory. You won't fully understand your customer base or your most successful product until your business is up and running. It's essential to identify what makes your business stand out to achieve success and avoid losses. Your relationship with competitors reflects on your image, so avoid speaking ill of them. Things might not always go as planned, so learn how to handle setbacks gracefully, maintaining a helpful and polite demeanor to earn respect. Distinguishing good sales from bad. Each sale is unique. And it's not just about the size, but also the gross profit. For the security of your business, multiple smaller or medium-sized sales are often better than a few large ones. Demonstrating your unique selling points is crucial. Explain to your customers what they gain by purchasing your product and what they stand to lose by not doing so. Allow them to experience what you offer. Listening to your customers is paramount. 
Many sellers don't pay enough attention to their customers' needs and preferences. Always be ready to provide the most suitable solutions for your customers. Be cautious when offering discounts, as selling cheaper may affect quality or harm your business. When implementing promotions, carefully consider the duration and conditions of the offers. Building lasting customer relationships. Selling is essential, but nurturing strong customer relationships is paramount. Your customers play a pivotal role in your business's growth and success. Treat them well, not just during the sale, but both before and after. Their loyalty can benefit your business for a lifetime. The authors suggest making things convenient for your customers. Offer them the best payment options, products, and guidance on how to make the most of their purchases. Demonstrating a genuine concern for their satisfaction breeds loyal customers. These customers are just as valuable as new ones. Show them the same care and attention stay in touch, and ensure they feel valued. Avoiding customer loss. Price increases are often necessary over time, but should be handled with care to maintain a good customer relationship. Gradual and subtle price increases are usually better than sudden, significant jumps in cost. Large price hikes can have a significant impact. Don't make your customers feel like they're paying more just to maintain their quality of life. When raising prices, provide a compelling reason that justifies the increase. Keep in mind that price is often associated with quality. Setting prices too low can negatively affect your business's reputation. Balance your image and your profits carefully. Deciding to expand. While a business plan is crucial, your life plan is just as important because your personal life influences your business decisions. Understand your destination and the path you want to take get there. Everyone wants their business to grow, but failure is often easier to predict than success. What worked in the past might not work in the present. Avoid assuming you have a guaranteed formula for success and base your steps on current analysis. Transitioning into a leadership role. When we aspire to leadership, we may overlook the associated responsibilities. Decision-making should prioritize what's best for the company. To maintain your judgment's integrity, maintain a professional relationship with your employees. Remember that you don't have to be the boss forever. You can find someone who can do the job as well as, or better than you, and let them take over, allowing you to focus on what you truly enjoy. Collaborate with people you trust, and if an employee undermines your trust, avoid spreading distrust to others. The UN Delegatable Factor Your employees are critical to your quest for success. You can identify the best employees over time and company culture helps filter and nurture them. Establishing or recognizing a company culture is as important as emphasizing it as it shapes the way your company operates. If you're entirely flexible, subcultures may emerge, leading to conflicting decision-making and attitudes. Establish a strong corporate culture and encourage your employees to embrace and follow it. Teamwork wins the game. Selling is a team effort, and choosing the right team members is crucial. The best resume doesn't always mean the best employee. Some salespeople, while striving for personal success, create their own rules that can be detrimental. Norm Brodsky and Bo Burlingham caution against relying solely on commissions as a motivator. It can lead to unhealthy competition and divide the team. Since selling is a team effort, each team member plays a unique role, either directly or indirectly. If one area is underperforming, it can reflect poorly on the entire company. For instance, if the customer service isn't up to par, customers may not want to return. 
So, monitor each area to address weaknesses directly. Seeking help when needed. Problems are part of the journey, and how you handle them matters. Sometimes, a problem seems insurmountable, and that's when an outside perspective can be invaluable. An external viewpoint can help you see the issue differently and identify the root cause. Even with advice, you might discover a better solution. However, it's important to choose the right person to seek help from, as each professional has their unique strengths. Lifelong learning. No matter how experienced you are, there's always room for learning. Valuable lessons hide behind advice, experiences, and challenges. When a problem arises, it's essential to not only solve its immediate consequences, but also understand its cause to prevent its recurrence. Quick fixes won't prevent future errors. Prevention is key. Be ready to tackle the obstacles that come your way. The better prepared you are, the more advantage you have, and the less likely you'll be caught off guard. Nurturing salespeople. To gauge your salesperson's progress, depending on your business type, wait through a sales cycle. Provide them with as much training as possible, so when results come in, you can assess whether their return justifies your investment in them. It's essential for your employees to have a deep understanding of your business. When salespeople grasp how your business operates, they tend to be more committed and drive higher sales. Lastly, be the biggest cheerleader for your company. Believe in it passionately. Your enthusiasm and passion are your most potent tools for overcoming challenges. What other authors recommend? In How to Sell When Nobody's Buying by Dave Lacani, the advice is to refine your approach when facing sales challenges. During tough times, mediocre salespeople give up, providing opportunities for creative and efficient ones. In Discover Your Strengths by Marcus Buckingham and Donald Clifton, the focus is on enhancing company productivity by leveraging employees' strengths instead of trying to fix their weaknesses. Value Generation by F. Augusto emphasizes the importance of creating value for customers rather than just working for profit. By adding value to others' lives, they, in turn, create value for you. Applying it to your life. Start by changing your mindset. Set clear goals. Prepare, study, and inform yourself extensively. Recognize that there's always something to learn. Make informed financial decisions, understanding that numbers are your allies. Familiarize yourself with all aspects of your business. Seek and accept advice from knowledgeable individuals. Distinguish between sales and gross profit, value and care for your customers. We're keen to hear your thoughts on our content. Feel free to share your opinions or recommend books in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel business book summaries and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest summaries. Thank you and have a wonderful day.